What's up YouTube, Car Boss here, back in another video where we talk about cars, money, investing. Today is talking about auction weekend, right? So we got the usual PWCC Sunday auction. We're going to look at some eBay auctions and we're going to talk a bit about Goldin auction, which is going to end in about a week from now. So it's not it's not this weekend. And currently just going to look at or kind of observe uh, what's going on in the Marvel market as a whole. And, you know, based on my observation that I did, you know, some homework before this uh, recording of this video, I'm just going to sum up for one word, uh, which is bearish. Right. So bearish means that I think that the Marvel market has lost a bit of fire. I think that's not uh, unexpected to a lot of people uh, compared to all the massive uh, hype and the highs that we saw in the past uh, couple of weeks or months. Right, the PMGs are soaring at uh, huge prices. You know, the, the rocket ship was uh, literally f flying to the moon on some of these prices, and a lot of them have kind of leveled out, if not. Uh, Came, came down uh, quite a fair bit as we could see in the Goldin auctions uh, a couple of weeks ago where a lot of uh, PMGs were really really hit hard in the prices but to be fair those PMGs were kind of low grade PMGs you know PSA 6 and 7s and some 8s uh, some of these PMGs really underperformed but those PMGs that underperformed uh, didn't really surprise me as much because I did expect a kind of pullback especially on the lower graded PMGs as, and as well as the lower characters, right? Strong characters like Wolverine, Spider-Man. Um, these characters are still doing well in general, no? not just the PMGs, but overall uh, in the market. But what we know from the other characters, right? Especially the non, I would say, top five characters are taking a hit. Uh, of course, uh, there are some characters which are still enjoying some sort of rise at the moment, such as like Moon Knight. It's surprising to see that uh, as we go further into the series, you know, the cards are still holding strong in terms of prices. Uh, I guess uh, people like myself, right, uh, was not really familiar with Moon Knight prior to the series. Like we, I, I knew who Moon Knight was and I knew his origin story and stuff like that, but I never really paid much attention to his character, you know, as compared to how much attention like uh, say like the X-Men or the Avengers uh, have, right, you know, not just from the comics, but also from the MCU, right? So it's the first time, you know, Moon Knight really showing his stuff on the screen and it has surprised a lot of people and has got a lot of people interested and therefore I think that it really has created a lot of new followers and therefore you could see a steady demand in his cards uh, still up to today. Uh, will, will it continue going forward? Of course, that's that's pretty hard to say, right? You know, like for any character, there is the the uphill climb, they reach the plateau, and then maybe we'll drop back down again. But who knows? Um, you know, Moon Knight is definitely a fan favorite at the moment, and you know what MCU does pretty well is you know take fan favorites and just continue to milk them uh, further, you know, through other appearances uh, further down the line. All right. So uh, back down to the cards, right? So I'm going to look at a PWCC auction that's ending uh, this weekend. So the weekly Sunday auctions and just through observations of what they have on sale. As you can see here, 1990 Marvel MU, uh, some of this as well, some 1992 Marvel MU as well. Masterpieces just, you know, in general, not a lot of gas, right? Just see small, small stuff, zero PMGs, right? That's ending in a couple of days from now. Just just nothing that really sparks anyone's interest. You know, maybe uh, to some people, just for some set collecting, so I can understand, you know, put together some sets here. There is, there is some interesting stuff which you can add for your sets, but nothing that really stands out from an investment perspective. So uh, I'm going to reserve my... Uh, I would say conclusions on on this uh, later on, but just looking at what's available in the market at the moment. So, but from what we can tell, PLBCC here, there is really nothing much to look at this particular weekend, right? Hopping on to eBay. So eBay, we have some listings here. I've sorted the eBay listings that's ending uh, today or over the next three days. Okay, uh, anything that's fifty dollars and above with at least one bid. So you can see some of these listings here, right? So we've got some PMG greens from. Uh, 2020 X-Men Metal. I talked about this in my previous video. And you see, not again. There is some big cards here, especially the, the uh, PMG Greens. Okay, I'm not going to repeat what I said before. The aforementioned Moon Knight, which is doing strong here, a refine at $500, right? Uh, this is even exceeding the, I would think, Doctor Strange as well. So you can, that tells you how strong oh, the following is for Moon Knight. You know, small level PMGs here, PMG Greens. Um, see, not really 
a lot of fire. Look at look at the characters, right? You don't see any Spider-Mans, you don't see any Wolverines, just small, small stuff here, right? So anything here is being filtered, 50 bucks and above, right? So don't nothing really huge here, right? There, those the stuff that we commonly see. We don't see any 2013 or 2015 uh, PMGs. Right, and this is flowing up to this, this Sunday 9 a.m. is basically uh, this is my local time, so this is effectively Saturday 9 p.m. Eastern. Right, so this is leading up to Saturday night, nothing much here. Ghost Rider, first one here 2013 PSA 7, 2000 bucks, one bid. Okay, that's the first one that we saw again going down the list, nothing really major. Right, just look at that bearish, right. Bearish. Yeah, I mean, there are still some good dollars being paid for these cards, right? We're talking about earlier PMG greens uh, going for above $500 each. We see here Storm 2015 uh, PMG red here, about 200 bucks. Uh, Spider first Spider-Man that I've seen here, okay, Master masterpieces of uh, purple, epic purple. Uh, this is card is out of 199 okay, and a PSA 9. Look, nothing much. Now we'll move on to we're coming to Monday my time here, which is basically Sunday 2 p.m. Eastern. So again, we have to, haven't seen anything big. Wolverine here. It's not not the most popular Wolverine in terms of PMG red, going for 200 bucks left. And this is now coming to Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Nothing in this list here. Okay, PMG green as expected. And look. Just really, really nothing, guys. Nothing here. Again, PMG Green. We talked about this. Look, <clears throat> the list isn't isn't attractive, right? So, uh, it's nothing much for me to comment about here, except for as you know, just trying to demonstrate to you guys that you know the, the fire has stepped away, and there is reasons for that. But before I talked about that reason again, I'm just gonna jump to Golden Auction and what's happening next week. Right, so you can see Goldin has 76 items here and a lot, a lot of PMGs. I'm just going to jump quickly to those PMGs, right? So you can see a bunch of PMGs in the BGS lab here, reds and blues as well here. You can see a whole host of PMGs here, right? So some of them are pretty all right. So you have this Ghost Rider PMG uh, blue at P, uh, sorry BGS9, which is decent. And of course, uh, we have here as well, I think, again, Doctor Strange BGS8. Just fairly decently graded, okay. Not not bad. Like you don't have those uh, BGS sevens and stuff like that, okay. And uh, we have here. I think there is a Gambit. Yes, a Gambit. Um, PMG Blue BGS nine, Dark Phoenix nine point five, and uh, Gambit PMG Green nine point five. Okay. But what's important is what I've noticed in all these listings, right? Starting from the top here, is the serial number. Right, so I just want to show you guys this. So I'm just gonna go all right all the way here. Let's let's start from here, right? So Doctor Strange here, zero number zero zero one four. So we BGS right. The first four digits is actually the greater, and this will be the zero number, right? So four two one one. So just pay attention to zero four zero zero one four, and starting with four. And if you look at this, is the common denominator, right? Here and here again, right? So here, here we go again. So what, what does that mean? I'm just going to show a couple more examples, right? So you can just go down, even look at the Ghost Rider, same thing as well. And maybe you just hop down to some uh, PMG Reds. So look at this Doctor Strange, same thing. So 001442 something. So what this essentially means is we probably have one seller here that's just unloaded all his PMGs here. No big characters here, no Wolverine, no Spider-Man, but definitely he unloaded all his PMGs which he's probably sent to BGS for grading and got these uh, grades so and we look at the 9.5 the two 9.5s that we have here different serial number 0014 but different here so it doesn't start from 4 and we look at the gambit 0012 so obviously these two are different sellers and not related to the top here right so these ones here the bgs red the, B, uh, the bgs red and the bgs blue are likely all coming from the same seller and it's just telling us that there are there is people just un unwinding their positions and unloading all these pmgs into the market all at once now you would probably ask whether or not is this the right timing to do such a thing because 
as what I pointed out earlier in the eBay listings and also PWCC, there isn't anything here. So why all these coming out all at once? Well, as you know, for Goldin auctions, there is a lead time in having stuff listed, usually in about a month or 45 days before it pops up into the auction. So likely this was planned uh, back in, I would say, late February, early March to have all these uh, listings come up into the April auction. But unfortunately, uh, timing wise, the market has kind of like, you know, corrected in these last couple of weeks. And these PMGs are kind of like appearing in the wrong timing. So, but will these, will the prices of these PMGs suffer in the next one week? I mean, it's it's up to uh, us to determine when we look at it uh, next week again. You know, there will be some people who will be buying in, taking opportunities to try maybe complete some sets because I think that there are still some set collectors taking opportunity to uh, finish up their sets uh, given the prices are a bit low now. Yeah, so if they were trying to build sets in February, that was going to be very challenging, right? So as you know, my story whereby I tried to build a PMG blue set and just some of those... Uh, big cards just literally got powered away you know when spider-man hit 100k um you know wolverine was like you know going up to like 50 50k for 40k 50k for raw they, you know it's totally unachievable even some of these small cards right like you know like Jean gray and emma frost were were going for like more than two thousand or three thousand dollars right so it was just insane so right now i think that all these you know like rogue or Jean gray emma frost you know miss marvel i think they all can be had for reasonable prices you know if you're looking to build your sets so this is probably the good time to buy in i i, I wouldn't want to comment on what where these prices will land again prices are subjective to you guys and depending on your investment objectives you know if you're building a set so obviously you have probably have a you have kind of like a target price to get into these pieces okay so rounding up the conversation right looking at you know the uh, pwcc and you know the ebay uh, auctions we can tell that i think that there's a lot of investors out there you know who has invested in marvel cards previously whether it's in pmgs jambalayas and some of the other bigger inserts right maybe got them graded at good grades they're not appearing at the moment in auctions right because looking at the market conditions they're probably not able to get the full price or the targeted price or in fact cover the original cost that they invested in so they're kind of like holding back on the inventory um, just to wait for a better timing to re-enter back to the market uh, the issue is i covered that in my earlier video that a lot of the mega investors right the one who is coming in with deep pockets you know to, to get into these bigger pieces have kind of left the space now that's my personal observation but i think they've left the, left the space and the people who has remained in the market at the moment they are small investors they are definitely true collectors but i think that the number of people with deep pockets are willing to spend huge huge amounts of dollars on certain pieces may not be present so uh, i would think that if some of you guys unfortunately who came into the market a bit late during early uh, 2022 uh, january february and bought into the hobby at some of these higher prices it will be difficult for you to uh, cash in at a profit at this juncture of course if you guys can hold on to your pieces uh, there is there is definitely opportunity in the long term to really recoup back but again uh, my motto has always been uh, best use of capital and to redeploy capital you know for to always continuously to make profits so uh, i'm not a fan of having capital sit on a shelf uh, so to speak for extended period of time and not doing anything you know i mean it's unfortunate that you bought into the, the period whereby the market was extremely hot and the price was extremely high but you know it's sometimes it's decision making at this juncture today whether or not you can redeploy that capital you know taking a taking a loss however percentage of loss you're talking about 15 percent 20 percent depending on how much you went in and redeploy the capital into something more effective whether is it going to be back into the marvel market or into something else all right that's all i got covered for today i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update and uh, do check out my other videos for for more interesting marvel stuff like and subscribe Talk to you guys soon. Couples out.